It's been a good start to the new campaign for Forest Green. One win and one draw in the league and a win over Swindon Town in the Carabao Cup means that Rovers are unbeaten so far in this campaign. Very standing Mark Cooper's side's way of extending that unbeaten run this afternoon. After relegation from League One last season, the Shakers have started 1-1-0 win and 1-1-0 defeat in the league so far. It'll be a free kick. Another card to Gunning pretty early on in this contest. And down from the referee's mind. Well, Talpa did very well. Really good atmosphere inside the ground. Mayer does well, wants a return pass. Will he get it? Mayer around the goalkeeper. The angle was just too tight for him in the end. Let's start this for Berry. Homeside looking for an early goal. Winners on the opening day. And then lost to MK Dons. Get victory here. New Downs holds it up. And Stokes behind him if he wants to use it. Downs keeps hold of the ball. This time he does play it back to Stokes, who whips a good ball in. And the header was won as well. Barry coming closer. Matteo unlucky. I haven't seen much of Forest Green coming forward in this one so far. I'll be pleased with their start for the campaign, though. Five goals scored two conceded so far in the league. And this ball across and it goes behind for a corner. Dorridge scorer for Forest Green so far in this campaign. It's a dangerous ball whipped across as well and the header was one. Green have the ball back, growing into this game, looking for the opening goal. Deutsch to work to hold the ball up. Forest Green getting their passing game going. It's deflected. Into blue shirts in the middle. Doesn't fall to one of them though. There's Dan's always looking to get on the ball for Berry and make things happen. A key player so far this season for them. Goalkeepers made an error there, but somehow gets away with it. Gone it. Here's the ball on. And Shepard. This is one touch passing. This is really lovely play. How about that from Brown? Did so well. Here's Doyle, just the man you wanted to fall to. And it was almost an own goal. Certainly didn't need the touch. It looked to be going wide. Collision with the post as well. That looked to be a painful one. Corner to Forest Green. Very have looked nervous defensively. James will take it, out swing it. Chance now, headed back towards James, who gets his second bite of the cherry, gets a chance to put the ball into the area. Decides to go short, this time it's chipped towards the back post. And who else but Christian Deutsch is there. Celebrates in front of the travelling fans. A simple header for him. He was never going to miss that one. Just before the half hour mark, it's his third of the season already. What a campaign he's having. A delightful ball by Winchester, chipped towards the back post. And Doyage met it first with his head. It's going to lead by a goal to nil. Well, I'm side and the home fans will be disappointed because Barry have started well, but just seems to lost all composure. And here's Brown again. Challenge made at the vital moment. Forest Green pouring men forward. They look full of confidence now. Stokes. This delivery has been perfect this afternoon. Creating problems every time he gets the ball. Dans. Here's Mayer. Twisting and turning. Mayer looking to make something happen. Out wide. This time Stokes' is crosses behind for a corner. Goalkeeper collects, but he's dropped it. Chance now for Berry, but the free kick is given. Did the goalkeeper just drop that ball, or was he fouled? Debatable one. Berry 
Nigeria looking for that equaliser. Nayer out wide. Dangerous ball again whipped in. The goalkeeper flying off his line. Sanchez thought he could collect but didn't. It's behind for a corner. Unorthodox goalkeeping this afternoon by Sanchez. That was one as well, but over the top. Rising highest, but unable to find the target. I wonder what Perry manager Ryan Lowe would have said to his players in the half time. They need a response, training by a goal to nil. Can they find an equaliser? They've got a great chance now. Forest Green have been so resolute defensively, they've been solid, they've made it difficult. Forward again. O'Connell's done well. Lays it into the path of Telford, but it was a weak effort. Rolled it towards the goalkeeper. He'll be disappointed with that. But it is all Berry now. Nicky Adams sprays it out wide. Mayer has the overlapping run and he's using it. Chance after chance for Berry. We've seen this before in their games this season. It's failed to take their chances. Going to create real clear cut chances as well. It means they put the pressure on their opponents but struggle to score. Saw it in the Yeovil game in the opening day of the season. It looks as though we're seeing it again. All trailing by a goal to nil and Forest Green with more defending to do. One ball forward by Murphy. Some holding there, the fans certainly didn't like it. Running has already been booked, and it's a red card. Second yellow. The captain is off, he was certainly holding his man. And Forrest Green will have to see this game out with a man less. Forrest Green with more defending to do. Can Berry break them down? That cross. He's stopped and goes out for a throw. Mayer. They really need more energy in their play. Can they find an equaliser here? Across the six yard box. Yet again, it's a Forest Green player in the way. They are holding on to that one goal advantage now. It looks as though Berry are going to need a late goal if they're to get themselves back into this game. Another chance for the home side. Right, it goes. The chances are coming thick and fast, but they just can't take them. They're going to need something special like they did in that Yeovil game. Scoring in the 89th minute. And there it goes by Rawson. We've hardly seen a chance from Forest Green all second half. Happy to defend, happy to hold on to this one goal advantage. Just sit there. Could just open up for O'Connell. Plays it back. And Nicky Adams. And he wins a corner this time. They've been dangerous from these situations, Berry, but can they make them count? What a save that is! But it is in, in the 90th minute by Will Ameson. Sanchez did all he could to keep it out. But at the second time of asking, Will Ameson gets his first Berry goal. What a finish that is from the centre back. Now Berry won the victory. Up against the 10 men, Forest Green have given this absolutely everything, but they just look as though they're running out of steam at the moment. Left footed cross into the middle, headed away, but not far enough, collected by Neil Dans. If we are to get a winner in this game, it will be for Berry. Throwing the bodies forward, they want all three points. No ball across, it just needed a touch from somebody. They spread out wide. Moore did well, Moore still has it. Can he get a strike away? Wants the layoff, held up. Dan's thought about the effort. Takes a sensible option and goes out wide to Nicky Adams. Another ball comes into the six yard box. How many of those have Forest Green have to deal with defensively? That one is over the top. There is the full time whistle. Berry would have wanted all three points. They had the chance to take all three points but they haven't been able to take their chances. Forest Green were reduced to 10 men when Gunning was sent off. 
Christian Deutsch has opened up. It's cancelled out by Will Ameson. And that is how it finished. Final score. Very one.